वेलकम एवरीबॉडी टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज इंटरफेरेंस फेनोमिन इन थिंग फिल्म्स बाय डिविजन ऑफ एम्पलीट्यूड बाय रिफ्लेक्शन सो सपोज वी आर कंसीडरिंग ए थिंग वेज शेप्ड फिल्म ए बी एंड सी डी आर द बाउंडिंग सरफेसेस ऑफ द थिंग वेज शेप्ड फिल्म लेट ए मोनोक्रोमेटिक लाइट ऑफ वेवलेंथ ए मोनोक्रोमेटिक लाइट of wavelength lambda is incident at point q on the surface ab so gradually one part of the incident ray will be reflected uh, in this direction qo and the another part will be transmitted uh, through the uh, through the medium of refractic refractive index n which is qr uh, the ray qr will again reflect uh, will again be reflected at point r and after that at point s the ray will again trans will be again transmitted in the air and finally the ray the reflected ray qo and the ray s o will meet at point o now the two surfaces which i told in first a b and c d the bounding surfaces the bounding surfaces are inclined at an angle alpha and inclined at an angle alpha now if the incident angle is i then if the incident angle is i this then this angle will also be i the reflected angle and if this is i if this angle will be i okay now we are drawing we are drawing three perpendiculars from point s they are sn perpendicular to qo the second is sn1 perpendicular to q m and the third is s l perpendicular to c d and we extend s l to m and we join the two points r and m now uh, a straight line parallel to a b is drawn that is c dash d dash c dash d dash parallel to a b so we can see that if this angle is alpha and these two lines are parallel then if this is alpha then this will also be alpha the angle <coughs> and uh, the dotted line the dotted line is perpendicular to c dash d dash and the straight line is perpendicular to c d so if this angle is alpha then this angle see this angle will be 90 minus alpha and if this angle is 90 minus alpha then this angle is 90 minus alpha then this angle will be 90 minus 90 minus alpha or simply alpha now <clears throat> if we if we uh, consider this image if we consider this image in this region in this region so what happen then the dotted line this dotted line this angle will be alpha and as this is the refractive angle r and this line and the dotted line are parallel so if this angle is r then this total angle will be r and as this small angle is alpha this small angle is alpha then this angle will be r minus alpha that is this and if this angle is r minus alpha 
as this straight line this straight line this straight line is parallel to sl so if this angle is alpha this angle is r minus alpha so uh, this angle will also be r minus alpha and if this and this are parallel so this angle will also be r minus alpha and this angle and this angle will be same and r minus alpha as these two angles are similar now from the triangles r s l and r l m we can see that the side r l is common the angle r l s equals to the angle r l m equal to 90 degree and this angle r m l equal to angle r s l so we can say from a these two triangles are similar triangles from a s from a s condition so as these two triangles are similar so r s equal to r m r s equal to r m you can say r s equal to r m okay now we are uh, we are now let the length sl equal to lm equal to d so the total length lm uh, the total length sm will be 2d now as the two rays qo and so are formed from the same ray pq from the same incident ray pq so the rays q o and s o are coherent and as they are coherent so they produce interference which is seen by the observer at o and the observer will see the interference uh, to occur in this region of the film now we have to measure the part difference to know the characteristics of the interference patterns we have to determine the path difference between the two rays QO and SO now as SN is perpendicular to QO and these two rays SO and these two lines SO and NO is slightly slightly inclined at an angle with the angle between them is very small so we assume so equal to no so the path difference between qo and so will be the optical path difference obviously so the path difference between the two rays qo and so is q n1 plus n1 r plus r s plus SO minus QO minus QO now as SO and NO are equal so we can say this equals N into Q N1 plus N1 R plus RS Q N1 plus N1 R plus RS minus Q N1 Q minus Q N this and this equals to and as from these two triangles Q N S and Q N1 S we see that N equal to sin I by sin R the refractive index N equal to sin I by sin R equal to Q N by Q N1 Q N by Q N1 and this equals Q N equal to N Q N1 so putting these values in this equation in this here we gain 
एन वन आर प्लस आर एस इंटू एन एन वन आर प्लस आर एस इंटू एन नाउ आर एस इक्वल टू आर एम सो वी कैन राइट दिस एन वन एम इंटू एन सो दिस इज नथिंग बट एन वन एम एंड फ्रॉम द ट्राइंगल एन वन एम एस वी कैन सी दैट एन वन एन वन एम इक्वल टू टू डी कॉस आर माइनस अल्फा एन वन एम इक्वल टू टू डी कॉस आर माइनस अल्फा So this n1 r plus r s will be n1 m. So this will be n1 m n. So so this n1 m n will be 2 n d cos r minus alpha. Now in addition to this path difference 2 n d cos r minus alpha, there is an additional phase. Difference of pi. So this is gained from this theory. Light reflected by a surface backed by denser medium suffers a phase change pi, and by a surface backed by rarer medium have no abrupt phase change. This is a theorem uh, which I have uh, told, which I have explained elaborately in one of my another video. You can see that. Now, by this theorem, we can say from this figure, P the phase the uh, incident rate PQ PQ is incident on the surface AB backed by denser medium, so the reflected ray QO will suffer a phase change of pi, and in transmission, uh, the ray suffers no phase change. So. The phase difference between PQ and QR is zero degree. The phase difference between QR and RS uh, is also zero degree because in this reflection at R, uh, the ray QR is incident on CD, the surface backed by layer medium. So by this theorem, the reflected ray RS will suffer no phase change. Now and at last, at point A, the transmitted ray Q O also suffers no phase change. So as a whole, the phase difference between this and this is zero. This and this is also zero. This and this is also zero. And this and this is pi. So as a whole, the phase difference between Q O and A S O is pi. So I have written this phase difference of pi, and we know that. The phase difference is equal to two pi by lambda into path difference. So pi here pi equal to two pi by lambda into path difference, and from here we get path difference equal to lambda plus minus lambda by two. So pi equivalent to a path difference plus minus lambda by two caused by reflection at Q. Now the total path difference will be two n d cos r minus alpha plus minus lambda by two. 2nd cos r minus alpha plus minus lambda by 2 now for the condition of constructive uh, constructive interference we know that the path difference should be the even multiple of lambda by 2 so here so here 2nd cos r minus alpha plus minus lambda by 2 equal to 2m into lambda by 2 and from here we got this condition 2nd cos r minus alpha equal to 2m plus 1 lambda by 2 and for this and for destructive interference 2nd cos r minus alpha plus minus lambda by 2 which is the path difference will be equal to the uh, odd multiple of lambda by 2 and 2m plus 1 equal to lambda by 2 and from here we get that uh, 2nd cos r minus alpha equal to 2m into lambda by 2 so this is the condition for destructive interference So thank you for watching